Wave 3 multimedia journalist Casey Cunningham went on the search efforts today. And where are crews searching? Shannon, they're searching all over, starting in areas around Westport Road and handing out these signs everywhere. But the elements are making it tough. Corn stalks tower high where Adrian Cook was last seen. We don't want to go any more nights not finding her and having her home with us. We want her home. Adrian Cook's family says inside her home, everything seemed normal except the fact she wasn't there. And she would never leave the house without letting us know. Cook was last seen on Thursday on a farm off Westport Road where she used to work. Lawrence Palmer Ball owns the property and has joined in the search effort over miles through tough terrain. You can walk through a row of corn and you're not going to see anything 10 feet one way or the other from you. That's when he knew he had to call in help and reached out to a friend at Kentucky K-9. This is a lot of ground to cover and they've just worked tirelessly. Jennifer Jordan Hall showed up as soon as she got the call. By Monday afternoon, it's Pocket leading the search. You know, they picked up a scent trail, which is, you know, the key thing. But like every search, this one has its fair share of challenges. It's why Hall has brought in additional tools, a set of eyes in the sky. I mean, we've been in the corn and it's I, you, it's very, very difficult to see the dog and to see something until we fly the drone over low enough. We're hoping that we can see. Hall plans on searching with Pocket until Adrian is found. Meanwhile, the Jefferson County Search Dog Association is searching too. Five teams, five bloodhounds. All efforts Adrian's family is so grateful for as they continue to hold out hope. Now she's gone without any trace or any, any notice or anything. She didn't say goodbye to me. Adrian's family said she does have a history of depression. They'll be organizing search efforts throughout the week and invite the entire community to join them. Reporting live in the studio, Casey Cunningham, Wave 3 News.